So today we're going to look at installing Spybot Search and Destroy. So we're going to open up Edge here and type in Spybot Search and Destroy into the web browser. Now you will get ads, the competitors are advertised against it. And you will get other net websites that do have it curated on. But the website we are looking for is the safernetworking.org website. So it is now um called spybot anti-malware in some places but approved spybot search and destroy protects your computer against malware so we are going to click on spybot search and destroy and there are two different versions here essentially personal editions and free editions the one we're going to focus on today is the free version uh, which has anti-spyware system immunization start tail tools and rootkit scanner Okay, um, there are other versions available with some more features, but they do cost some money. So if we click on the free version now, and it will ask for a donation, but if we scroll down and scroll down, we can see some reviews and screenshots, but then right at the bottom, we get down to Spybot version 2.9. So it supports every system from Windows 7 onwards and if you then keep on scrolling down you will notice a download button hidden away at the bottom there which you can click on then you'll be taken to a page of different file locations we've got Fosshub here as the first one so we can click on that one and the file size version don't be tricked by things like this this is actually an ad so this isn't actually an ad we need to scroll down for spybot search and destroy and we want the installer not the xp and vista one but the latest one which we've click on there for 7 8 and 10 as well as 11 even though it doesn't list that the download is only 62.4 megabytes so it shouldn't take long to download at all and once it's downloaded we can click on open file and it will start the installation so select the language you want to use during the installation so we've got english we'll press ok uh, installation and usage mode how do you want to proceed here you can decide how you want to install and use spyware search to destroy you can change all the settings at later points i want to be protected without having to attend to it myself that is going to be the setting that the vast majority of users want if you do want ultimate control but with that you need to be disciplined to come and check it often then you can select that option but for the vast majority i want to be protected without having to attend to it myself and then click next there is the license agreement for you to use it is for non-commercial use the free version there are restrictions and it goes through there but you don't have to pay for spybot search and destroy so make sure if you are prompted for payment other than a voluntary donation which you might choose and um, to make sure that you've actually gone to the safer networking website that is the only official website so you have to accept the agreement to continue we're going to click next there is the privacy policy there which is a lot shorter you have to accept that and once you've clicked next there this is a special offer this is not required to install spybot but spybot will get some money if you decide to install the latest opera browser but if you press decline it will still go on to install so by all means if you want the opera browser then you can click accept but we're going to press decline because we don't need it now spybot edition we need to pick features so we've got spybot spybot plus av with antivirus that we would need a key for so that is not that is a paid for version this is just trying to upsell it so that's the default selection spybot without antivirus is the free version and you can optionally choose to install spybot anti beacon which is a free tool an anti telemetry tool which we will go into on another video but for now we're just going to focus on spybot search and destroy without antivirus which is the free version and then click next it will give you a summary of where it's going to install and what it's going to 
install so we've got with we spy bot the free version files essential for all operations that's the base application live protection plugins for browsers help tools translations professional tools blah 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 background update service to keep the detections up to date which is important with any anti-malware tool and also integration into windows security center because we have picked for us to be protected without us interacting with it much and um, the scheduled task to regularly update the detection signatures regularly perform system cams and regularly immunize the system against new threats so if we click install now setup will download some more files and then once it's finished that it will go on to extract the files from the installer and install spybot onto the system you can notice that spybot snd start center has been added there to the desktop and it's been launched there after installation where it's immediately checking for updates this is all part of the installation process so it is extracting some new files new plugins to ensure that spybot works correctly once the updates are finished there it's installed 125 updates we can see that it's been updated now we can close that temporarily so it finishes off the installation don't forget to do that, otherwise the installation will just sit there in the background it does advise you to restart your computer a bit old school but that will help it work best we will click no i will restart the computer later and click finish 